and what a crazy real estate ride it has been. 2022 is one for the books. If you are living in the Tri-County area, hey everybody, it is Lori Finkelstein Reader and I am super excited to give you some market updates and just give you a little information about bringing forward what we have been dealing with from January all the way up until now, September. So let's start off with just a couple of a couple of numbers, a little bit of meat so that we can talk about what's happening so that you, whether you're a homeowner, whether you're investing in South Florida, we know we've got a lot of second homeowners here, or you are a buyer and you're saying, you know what, I finally can go and buy a home without standing in a line and competing with 50 other buyers and paying over market value. It's fair to say those days are done. So here we go, guys, in Broward County, wow. Inventory is up 55.7% from this time last year in 2021. Remember last year, <laughs> you couldn't get a home. We had no inventory. Everyone in the country relocating to South Florida. So inventory has risen 55%. Our pending sales are down a little bit, right? We're down 23%, which means that when sellers put their homes on the market, likely they are having to wait some time. It's not just happening overnight. There are likely no lines outside of their home. We're, let, we're heading into what I believe we are already into is a level market where sellers and buyers can win. And our closed sales are down by 30%, which makes sense when you have a lower pending amount of sales, you're going to have a lower amount of sales closing. Let's jump into beautiful Dade County. Inventory, again, up 31%. Pending sales are down 16% and closed sales are also down by 25%. All of that makes sense, okay? Again, as I was mentioning before, this is really normal in a market that is normalizing. And up in the Palm Beaches, our inventory is up to 74%. That is, that's extraordinary. Our pending sales though are only down by 20 and our closed sales are down by 25%. So what does all this mean to you, the consumer? Reality is, is that supply and demand are what are going to control the market. For those of us who live in the Tri-County area or who just wanna own property in the Tri-County area, all the way from, let's say, the Keys, all the way up into the Port St. Lucie area, we are still seeing this precedent amount of people relocating to, that, to these areas. People want to own a piece of South Florida. So I like to say we're in a really healthy market. Sellers can put their homes on the market. They can get fair market value. Buyers are able to purchase homes and start their families, relocate their parents here. We have a lot of people moving in together, big, big families wanting to live together. For, for all of us in South Florida, it's a healthy market. It's very natural and normal for you guys to watch the news, the media, reading the newspaper, seeing social media of what's going on in real estate across the whole country. So picture yourself, you're in an airplane, you're 50,000 feet up and you can see the whole country. Well, guess what you guys, land that plane in sunny South Florida, our market looks different. So be encouraged, do not be discouraged. If you are a buyer, lock in this crazy good interest rate. And if you are a seller and you want to buy, it's your time. You can now put your home on the market and you can buy having a nice, smooth, beautiful experience. So you guys, anybody watching this, if you have questions about real estate, you know that's my favorite topic, please reach out, let me know, I wanna help you. In the meantime, we are super lucky to be here in sunny South Florida. And my big prediction is that our market remains nice and healthy, very even keeled, and that people will be able to make the moves they want to.